Well, hello there, and welcome to this introduction video about MailMate. My name is Matt Petrowski, and I'm a MailMate user and enthusiast. In fact, this video was not paid for or hired. This is basically me creating videos about MailMate because I love the application so much. Now, I'm a converted Gmail user, and that's Gmail in the browser. I'm going to show you over the course of a number of videos how you can make MailMate the central hub of how you manage all of your mail. So let's take a look at this introduction to MailMate and understanding what features are available. All right, so first off, you need to be prepared. There's a high degree of underwhelm when you initially open MailMate. It doesn't walk you through anything in terms of setting up your environment in order to take full control over your email world, but, MailMate, I promise you, is going to be one of your most powerful mail applications available to you because it really allows you to design your whole world around your email. This means that if you have multiple accounts uh, with, from multiple different sources, I in fact use about eight different email accounts coming from different places, uh, two different ones from work and five different accounts just for personal stuff. I post video uh, videos on YouTube and have a bunch of different channels, a bunch of different Gmail addresses. All of it is managed within this one client. Now you can do this within the browser. Chrome even allows you to really hop from identity to identity but it doesn't consolidate it all down into one place. And in fact, you can't really do some of the convenient things that a nice local client can do within the browser. One of the big ones in particular is sorting. So sorting allows you to basically group like messages based on the from or the subject or whatever headers you're showing and be able to do anything you want all at one time. Plus we're going to see there are some really big advantages with regards to what MailMate will do when you have multiple messages selected. So this is our introduction. Let's find out where we can get help. If you initially open MailMate, and I don't have any accounts into this uh, copy of MailMate right now, we're going to add one, but you're initially going to pre be presented with this window and then this window right here. And the window that will come up in the MailMate help will typically be the introduction. And I'd like to suggest that you take some time and read through the introduction. It's got a lot of good information, but it's not necessarily going to bring you to the point where you're just taken aback at how much control you have. MailMate is an application that you really must configure based on how you work. And that's what I'm going to show you throughout the course of this little video series of how I made MailMate really replace Gmail in the browser in terms of how I use or took control of my mail. So within the help, you're going to be able to go to the table of contents that can always be accessed by going to the MailMate help option. It'll give you all of the different subcategories, organize, view, navigate, compose. I'll let you read all of those on your own. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting this up to work just like Gmail, and we're going to do it in a step-by-step -step process. But from the standpoint of an introduction, I want to let you know that MailMate is designed for you to be able to specifically take control over what mail you want to see and how you want to see it. Now here are the key things that I consider great for an introduction. We don't need to go through all of the different individual settings in order to have a good sense of what the application can do. Settings for the most part, as I bring them up with command period, are going to allow you to set all of the things that you prefer about the application, of course. I think we all know that, and you're probably a power user as it is if you're watching this video. Now you can, of course, set the default email client. All of these options we'll go through in a separate video, but basically, if you go through this, you're going to get a good sense of what you have available to you. And there's a lot of different individual options, but it's some of those features hidden within the options that really give you a lot of the power. Here in this bundles alone, you can see that MailMate is highly extensible. And we'll take a look at a few of these throughout the course of this video series. But within the application itself, what you need to know is your biggest advantage are going to be these smart mailboxes. And these smart bail mailboxes, there's a few of them here. As I zoom in on this examples, these examples give you a good idea of what is just 
the tip of the iceberg in terms of how you can filter out your mail once you've got all of your different mail coming from the different sources into MailMate. If you take a look at some of these, when we look at the smart mailboxes, you'll be able to see how creative you can actually get. We'll do that in a couple of the videos in this series, but for the most part, I want you to right click on the headers. And when you right click on the headers, you are going to see a plethora of options in terms of what you can see within a particular view. Attachments, correspondence, date received, date received relative, flagging, mailer, pending submission, raw flags. As we scroll down here, we've got source account, source mailbox, really helpful when you're dealing with a lot of different accounts. Spam score, it integrates with Spam Sieve, uh, Sieve a very popular uh, junk mail filter that will filter for you. And keep in mind that this will work with any of your online accounts. That's Gmail, Yahoo, um, Outlook, MSN, you name it. You're going to be able to have all of those accounts flow into this one application. The next big thing that I'm going to leave you with in the introduction is that you have multiple different views. So under the view menu in particular, you're going to be able to find a lot of options. And those come in the form of your layout, where you have different layouts such as correspondence, you have some statistics, which is really helpful when you want to know things about your mail, thread arcs, three panes, and widescreen. And within that, you've got different ways that you can actually view. Here are columns, which we also took a look at when we right-clicked on the headers. And we can also take a look at all of the different things that we're used to in our other email applications, mail, what have you, ability to look at headers and all of the different body parts and so forth. It's that layout that you're mostly interested in. You also have the option to hide your mailboxes, hide your message view, and show tips. So that's just the general introduction of basically what you're going to be able to look at when it comes to mail. But being able to see your mail is no big deal. Every email client does that. What we're interested in is turning this into a workhorse for us in terms of seeing all of our mail, specifically how we want to see it. That's going to be covered in the separate videos within this series.